give it up for Mr. M. S. Akshar, who's going to come in onto the stage and uh, talk about transformation of agriculture post pandemic. I can also tell you this: uh, he has plans to plant over 200,000 trees by 2028. The shifts in agriculture post pandemic. We're going to absorb this session with Mr. Akshar. Please join me on the stage. Thank you so much, Mr. Akshar. The topic is transformation of agriculture post-pandemic. Over to you, sir. Good evening, one and all. Thank you so much for Nagritech for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this uh, very nice event. And I love the energy what each and everybody have got on table. So be, me being from India, I guess I have my presentation as well. Um, okay. So me being in India, so um, uh, coming over and looking at the opportunities of uh, the global agriculture market is what I, on my skills, and uh, it's very nice being a part of here. And, and I kept my presentation very simple, as this is my first presentation ever. <laughs> All right. So can I have a... So that I can change the slide as well. I don't see that. Okay, I can just give some cue that we can. Yeah. So my first presentation is getting a little late. Just an announcement does. Anybody who gave a presentation by mistake took the clicker, then uh, you can give it back to us. Uh, that's fine. Maybe let's save some time here, and I'll just give you a cue. You can change the slide. All right. So today I want to talk about how agriculture, one of the oldest human activity, has evolved rapidly post-global pandemic, and how we enabled customers worldwide to reconnect with nature and sustainable farming practices. As I'm an Indian, Indian dependency of agriculture is 60% of its global population. So post the pandemic, we, we saw a transformation on few aspects. So one is rise of precision farming and data-driven decisions, and uh, a greater emphasis on sustainable and regenerative process. Integration of technologies like IOTs, AIs, and drones, and focus on food securities and self-sufficiency. More than all this, this pandemic gave an opportunity also in shift in trend. So what is this trend is all about? We see a lot of agri-tech companies coming and solving a lot of problems in agriculture, and also focus on carbon neutral practices, and digitalization and smart farming a growth of organic foods, organic vegetables, organic products which is available in the market. Also, we, s we saw a rise of urban farming. So what is it urban farming is all about, which is happening in India? So next slide, please. People started to cultivate fruits and vegetables on rooftops, on kitchen, and behind the kitchen gardens, and balconies everywhere. I mean, whenever I go to Delhi, right, so we just see these places where they have a small pots, try to grow some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, brinjols, and everywhere. So as we, are, as we see a rise in urban farming, people started cultivating fruits and vegetables. And also there's another uh, thing what happened was, you know, people started uh, working from f home. They shifted to work from farm, right? I don't know whether you people worked from farm in COVID, but we did work from farm in COVID. So this brought an opportunity for us, Hasiru Farms. So what we do, so we are into a managed farmland company. So when I see that managed farmland company, so we are nurtured by nature, inspired by nature, and nurtured by humans. So what we do is, so we take a non-cultivated land, which is from past 40 years, or 45 years, and we make sure we cultivate that land by an agroforestry, by growing timbers, by cultivating uh, uh, articultural plants and make the land more greener for the future. So from plain land to the greener future is what we do. So currently we are managing up to 400 plus acres so in India, throughout the Western Ghats and southern part of India. 
and we are nurturing up to 10 lakh plus trees and this is our actual photographs of the farm what we are doing plus 500 plus customers worldwide whom we have and our vision for agroforestry is to plant about uh, 10 lakh uh, about 11 lakh trees by 2028 for the greener future i'm going little little fast so we also provide a unique solution wherein Regardless of wherever you are in, in the world, you can lease or own a farmland so that we, for the contribution of the agriculture. Like you see, we also make sure we enable global customers to invest and manage farmland remotely. It's owned by you and it's managed by us. So when I say managed by us, so we maintain from farm to home, for the, from the cultivation to sell in the market. So this is a part of ecotourism. We also build a vacation homes as an option by renting and generating a potential income stream. And this is one of our uh, project, a live photograph of our project. So we have built a couple of sustainable, as you see, you know, we, we, we have used a, uh, zero percent cement uh, to be a, a carbon neutral and we used a lot of bamboos to complete the project and also this is one of our project photographs as well for the cons conservation of the water what we have a huge pond for the water facility so by uh, whether you own or lease any farms it generates uh, it generates bi biodiversity renewable source and uh, it also builds uh, ecotourism as well so by all this, I just want, uh, you know, uh, I've come all the way here by starting a small company with one acre and currently we're managing up to 400 plus acres. It's not easy in past, from past three years. It all happened by just planting a small seed of my, of my emotion, of, of something to give back to the nature. So from one, li one tree, one, one, from one plant to uh, 10 lakh plant is not that easy job. So let's all together make something greener possible. So why would this farmland opportunity is different as you know, we have uh, agriculture benefit and land appreciation, it's an asset. Organic growth is what we do, an attractive yield, and it's a tax-free income. Yes, I'm, I mean, when it's a tax-free, it's a tax-free, yes. So let's make the word greener place to leave. So please, to know more, you can log on to hasirufarms.com. And uh, you can see what we're doing. I just kept this slide uh, kiss, keep it simple. I don't think it's stupid. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I guess I'm done, done with my slides. So if there's any question, I'll, be, I'll love to answer those questions. Thank you.